Hi, Mark Gordon. On Tuesday, March the 6th, 2012, uh, a tough day on the streets. Uh, we had the GLD, the gold ETF, down uh, almost 1.8%, gapping down through the 100-day moving average, which is this green dotted line, and the 50-day moving average, and gapping down through the 200-day moving average, this black dotted line. Now, offering very little resistance here. Uh, we did close right on the 200-day moving average, though, a sign of some kind of support. Volume was not terribly uh, heavy as it was uh, about uh, five sessions ago on that big drop. I believe that was uh, last Wednesday was that big drop down. Um, we did find some support at the 100-day and uh, uh, stayed above it for a couple of days. But today, we crashed through it. Uh, um, so uh, uh, technically, um, in the short run, of course, the uh, trend is now down uh, on uh, gold and the GLD. And now on a weekly chart, uh, we can see a little bit of, um, of the damage that happened um, today. Uh, we uh, are sitting just below this black dotted line, which is the 40-week moving average. Uh, of course, we did take out this blue solid line, which is the 10-week moving average, and the green dotted line, the 20-week moving average. So technical support uh, kind of hit here, but uh, still staying close to this grouping of moving averages here. Uh, you'll see this red line, which is the four-week moving average, is rolling over and heading down. Um, uh, not such a big deal, though. Uh, if you draw a line across the lows, we still have an uptrend in place uh, on uh, the GLD. In my opinion, you'd, you'd see traders to get interested in getting uh, back on the long side uh, if we uh, close, uh, get a couple closes above this 40-week moving average and certainly back above the 10 and 20 week moving averages would be also be good to take out uh, today's high here, uh, which was uh, at 165.91, 1, 165.91. So taking that out would be a positive sign here. So let's hope we hold in this general area. It would show that we have support at these key moving averages and that uh, this uh, drop in gold was nothing but a short term pullback. And when we go to a monthly chart to get a long-term perspective on gold, we can see that this massive uptrend is still well in place. And we are sitting right on the 10-month moving average, this blue line, which has provided an area of support for quite some time now. Uh, so we are just at the sort of the lower end of the trading range now, uh, coming into the mid to lower end of that trading range and uh, just kind of testing things down in here. I'm not too worried yet. I still think that this uptrend is massively in place. And moving on to silver now, uh, we can see that uh, this correction um, that's really started uh, last Wednesday on this big volume drop has now taken us down to the 50 and the 100 day moving averages where they're converging. This seems kind of normal here. Uh, this, I think this needed to be tested down in here. And uh, we have also the lower end of the Bollinger Band on down here. So lots of support down here. Uh, we did get a pickup in volume uh, over the last several sessions. Um, but that's to be expected. This was a very panic day here, both in, in the gold and the silver and in the stocks. And uh, so this is to be expected. I, I mean, if I was to guess, I'd say that we would be holding down somewhere in this area and try to get a rally back up. But anything can happen in these markets, of course. So we could come back down and try to test this 2565. But uh, for now, um, we are at a point where we do have lots of support. And looking at a weekly chart, uh, we can see that silver is sitting right here on the blue line, the 10-week moving average. And uh, the 20-week uh, um, is uh, real close to it here, uh, this green dotted line. Uh, still uh, sitting below uh, the 40-week moving average, which we got above last week. Uh, we kind of came up, tapped this upper Bollinger Band area here. Uh, Bollinger Bands are, are a, an algorithm designed to keep prices within it 95% of the time. So they do uh, offer support and resistance. Um, and they're key areas to watch here. So uh, in my view, uh, we had a nice rally up off of 2565, about a 10-point rally. Um, huge move here in silver. That's about, I think it was about a 35, 40% move. And then uh, a pullback, giving back some of that. And um, uh, now we're sitting at uh, the areas of support. Um, you know, they say in trading that uh, you kind of take the stairs up and the elevator down. So that's kind of what happened. You get these panic sell offs here. And uh, let's hope it holds in this area. And moving on now to stocks, this is the SPY, the S&P 500 exchange traded fund. 
And what I'm seeing here is a bit of a pullback after a massive run all, all year long, uh, not even breaching uh, this red line, the 21-day moving average. Today we, we sliced through it. We actually gapped through it. And you notice that we came down and we tapped this lower Bollinger Band and, uh, and uh, closed above that. Um, so if selling continues, your next point of real support will come in at about 132.22, which is the 50-day moving average. So uh, in my view, we are still in a solid uptrend in stocks. Um, today's day was a distribution day, so it was Friday. We did have increasing volume as we sold off on those days. Uh, but this is to be expected. A lot of traders were waiting for something like this and ready to cash in very quickly on their profits. So. Uh, the idea here is that we're going to shake out all the shorter term holders, scare them out. The longer term holders will will uh, stay in the market and see uh, if things uh, hold. If we hold down here, uh, we could uh, uh, get the support we need uh, to rally back up. If we slice through that, then more traders will fall out and we maybe come down and test these moving averages. Um, but uh, for now, just tapping the Bollinger Band on the way up on a nice solid uptrend is normal trading activity. So that's it for now. Uh, just thought I'd explain a few things that were happening in the markets and good luck.